second semi-final for these 14 riders who will race eight laps on what's a quite a damp track now and the rain continues to fall here in Paris since this afternoon. It's the Canadian rider Jean-Sébastien Roy who gets a super hole shot ahead of Frédéric Vial. Thierry Betti is on a Honda number 30 and pierre Paget also on a Honda. Things getting a little rough further back in the field. Jean-Sébastien Roy slips through into the lead of the race. He's already dug himself a good lead after just a few corners. Roy showing how it's done over the triple jumps. He's got a comfortable lead now over Vial, Steve Lampson and Thierry Bertiz, both on Hondas. Roy is keeping a grip on the situation, but steaming up behind him, it's the American Steve Lampson now, who's been followed by Bertiz, who's managed to get through past Vial. Fabio Baldici on a Honda, the French riders Pagé and Mathieu Lalos in the wettest part of the circuit, right in the middle of the pitch of the Stade de France. A magic triple jump with these SX riders of the 21st century going hell for leather here in Paris. Thierry Bettis leads from Frederick Vial on the Kawasaki. Vial's season in the World MX circuit hasn't ended too well with the retirement of his team, KTM. Finding himself for the rest of the season on his old Kawasaki, Vial confirms his good form by hanging right in there with Betis, right up his tailpipe. It's a full fling battle between Roy and Lampson, two diametrically opposed riders, but whose approach to the track is similar, even if Lampson's more demonstrative in the jumps. the two riders know they qualify for the grand final and appear to loosen off a little nevertheless they still put on a show and a half for the fans with some exciting riding here in the whoops almost making it look too easy Roy takes the victory ahead of Steve Lampson, Thierry Bettis and Fred Vial all qualify for the final and as for the others they'll have to wait and see a lot of hopes are still pinned on riders like Lalos, Paget who made a good comeback and Valdici Roy tells us about the state of the track. It's good, quite technical when it was dry. There were several lines for overtaking, and the track's really well made for passing despite the rain. The lines are fast and should dry somewhat and be good for the final. France has done very well with French riders out in the front line of each heat, and now a French-Canadian playing as an outsider.